guys, welcome back to my channel POD with Kawa. As you all know, I always try to help you guys grow your print-on-demand business without spending a single penny. So in this video, I am going to show you guys a completely free AI image generator, which will help you to create many great designs easily and quickly. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So in this video, we are going to talk about Ideogram AI, which is a completely free AI image generator. I'll also guide you from creating images using AI to making it ready to upload to any website. Making this video is a complete guide, so watch it till the end. Let's get started. Let's start by creating our design using AI. And for this, we are going to use Ideogram. You must have heard about other AI image generators, like Midjourney or Dolly but all of them require credits or you need to buy their plans to use them. So Ideogram is a great alternative, as you can use it to generate AI images for absolutely free. You don't need to buy any credits to generate images, and you can use its images for commercial use also. You can pause the video to read its terms and conditions, or you can visit Philip Ender's YouTube channel. He talked about this in detail. And unlike other AI generators, it is pretty great with text because in the latest update they have worked a lot on text generation. Like for this design, it combined text with the elements pretty greatly. Now let's try this AI by giving it a simple prompt like here. I am typing, vintage bike with sunset background for t-shirt design, and see what it will generate. And for the settings, first we have magic prompt. It takes our given prompt and generates an image by making it more detailed if we keep it on. But if we keep it in auto, then it decides on or off according to our prompt meaning if our prompt is sufficient, then it won't add anything to it. And if it is off, it will generate the image from our prompt only, without adding or changing anything. It is best to keep it on. Then, it allows you to pick your best suited ratio for your image. Next is model. 0.1 is the oldest and 1.0 is the latest version. You should select 1.0 as it's best with the text. Lastly, we have visibility. It will be public by default. However, if you buy one of their plans, then you can make your images private, which means others can also download and use your images. So, use these images as elements for your designs and customize them. I'll show you guys how to customize AI images in my next video, so don't forget to subscribe, so that you don't miss any upcoming useful videos. Now let's check out our images. As you can see, it gave us four really great images, and we can download and use these for our designs. But for now I like the fourth one, because others are not suitable for POD as it will be very difficult to remove their background. So let's open the fourth one. Here you can see, this is the magic prompt used to create this image. We can copy it and paste it in the prompt box to create more similar designs. This time I'll select illustration as the art style, and see the results. After a few seconds, our images are ready, and these look amazing. After this, I tried to generate an image of a cat eating ramen, and these were the results however, only the first one is looking good but it's not complete around the edges. So, let's use its magic prompt to create similar designs. Now the results are looking really good, and I really like the third one, let's try adding text to it, as Ideogram has become very good with text after the update. Let's try typing, add kawaii nako text around the cat, and see what it generates. As you can see, the ideogram did an amazing job here. It didn't even miss any spelling. And also it added specifically cute font according to the image. We can also create different variations of an image if we want to. If we click here, on the remix button, you can set the image weight, which decides how much new generated image will have similarity with the original image. It creates similar designs, so it's also an interesting feature of ideograms. You can use it for consistent results. Now we will see how to use AI images for print on demand. And for this, I've generated this image of a cat sticker. Let's download it first. After downloading it, we have to upscale it. As many websites don't support low resolution images, and it's best have high resolution images for your designs, so we are going to upscale it. And for this, I'm using upscale.media. It's an AI upscaler. Now let's upload our image. After uploading, it will take a few seconds to upscale. Our upscaled image is ready and you can clearly see the difference between the images. You can upscale it up to 4 times. Let's scale it to 4x. 
Our image has been upscaled to 4x now, and this website also has another really great feature, which is enhance quality. It improves the quality of the image by a lot, so you should definitely use it. The only thing that is not good about this website is that it gives only 3 downloads per day. However, you can purchase their plans to increase the downloads. Now, let's download our upscaled image and move forward to the next step. We are going to use it as an element for our design, so we have to remove its background without lowering its resolution. And for this, I'm going to use PhotoP. It's a free photo editing software and is very easy to use. To remove the background, we have to select the magic wand tool and then select the background that we want to remove. Then we have to click on the select option from the top bar and from there, we have to click on the inverse tool. It will inverse the magic wand tool and will select our element, which is the cat in this image. After this, we have to click on the raster mask tool from the right bottom corner. However, as we can see, the background has not been removed completely, and some parts of the element have also been removed. For this, zoom in using Alt plus mouse scroll, then we will keep the mask layer selected, and then select the brush tool and remove the unfinished parts of the background. Keep the brush color black to remove and white color to undo the removed area. You can adjust the size and other settings of the brush also to your comfort. Now we can remove the unfinished parts with the help of the brush. Removing background properly is done. Now we will undo the removed area of the element using white color. This image is a bit complex. That's why we need to do some things manually. However, the magic wand tool will work even better with the less complex images. We are done removing the background. Now we will save and use this to create a design. We can save this by clicking on the file and then export as. We can save this in any format we want, but for now I'll save this as PNG. We can also increase its dimensions while saving this image. I'm going to save it in 4024 by 4020 for pixels. Click the save button and it will be saved on your PC. Now let's move on creating our design. Now we are going to make our AI image ready to upload. And for this, I'm going to use Canva. So here, we are going to pick the size for the t-shirt. We are in our project, and now we are going to bring our AI created image. I've added our image. Let's adjust its size and position. And now we are going to add text to it. I've added the text. I picked this text because it's very humorous. And now we are going to pick a suitable font for the design. I search for groovy fonts and among all these fonts, I think Dingo's stamp suits this design the most. So, we will go with it. And if you are creating a design for mainly black t-shirts, then you should set the background color to black and adjust the text and element colors accordingly. Like here, I'm creating this design for black t-shirt, so I've set the background color as black and now I'll adjust the colors. After making a few changes, this is the final design. And now I'm going to change the background color to red, because the outline of the cat is also black, so it will also get removed when we remove its background. Our design is ready and the only thing left is to remove the background and resize the image according to the requirements of the website we are making it for. Are you going to use Ideogram to create your designs? Let me know in the comments section. That's it for this video guys. If this video was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any upcoming useful videos related to print on demand and AI. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. Stay creative and stay awesome.